just killed the mother of all dragons. That means that we literally just made hundreds and thousands of orphans. <laughs> oh, how terrible. By the way, Tim, I am now equal strength with you. <laughs> Sweet. Welcome to the club. I'm imagining that meme where it's like the two hands grasping each other in the air, and this is like... <laughs> Too bad there wasn't a hammer in there that I could really use. <laughs> no, but I did have to give up the scimitar, so... Yeah. You got the scimitar now. I think Loke took it. Oh, shoot, I've had this I'm thinking about it, but I don't think... What's it called? Your scimitar? Scimitar of warning. And don't, as a rogue, don't you get a bonus if you attack somebody before them and you can do sneak attack or. That's not a rogue thing, that's a subclass of assassin, I believe. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh. Depends how what you did roll I get it. from you, Halifax? A plus two sword sword? Oh, uh, great sword. What, do we have a list of the items? Yeah. I, all this fuzzy stuff that was here. I put yeah, I put the um in the chat all the items you guys got. In the roll twenty chat. Oh. I could really, really use that obsidian flint dragon plate. Malamarsh is fighting for that one. Oh yeah, Tim, if you wanted the scimitar, I I don't want it. No, you're talking about the armor. Oh. If you would like it, Valor, that's okay. I'll put on my mithril instead. No, no, I've got mithril plate, and I'm fine with it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Damn, I have a plus two sword now. That's nice. <clears throat> Why do you have a plus two sword? I gave it to her. We talked about this two weeks ago. What is it a short sword? No, it's a great sword. Great sword. Does that matter? You're a monk, right? Yeah. Why do you have a great sword. It's proficiency. Sorry, I'm, I wasn't we, even paying well, attention. We were talking about me needing a plus two sword. Isn't a great sword just as good? But if it's well, proficiency, it's the reason why Loke isn't using a longbow, because he's not proficient with it. Yeah, you don't have proficiency with the great sword. And not only that, it's not considered to be a monk weapon. There are specific rules for monks on that. So you wouldn't be able to use most of your special attacks while you're using that. Even if you had proficiency. If you grab the gauntlets, you can get some uh, fire damage onto your attacks. I've already, I'm already wearing the braces of defense, though. The braces aren't gauntlets. I thought they were. No. I, mean, I thought oh, they went braces. on your wrist. The gauntlets are gloves. Okay, so never mind on the plus two great sword. What kind of monk are you? Half elf. I met with some great sword into. Oh. Are you asking what subclass? Yes, yes, I am. Way of the open hand. Okay. Oh, I knew that. <clears throat> okay, so back to my short sword. Yeah, you need a... I guess I wasn't clear enough. If you're looking for uh, to use two swords, you really want to use two short swords, because that's what you're proficient with. And short swords count as monk weapons. Okay, somebody else can have the plus two great sword or Halifax, you can take it back. Uh, you are. 
So we just slaughtered a uh, <laughs> dragon <laughs> of all dragons. We just slaughtered the whole <laughs> demon herself. It's so lovely. Do we want to? Uh, do we want to go? Uh, chains. Chains. It it is gone. But uh, can some of you guys help me load these heads onto the ship? Yeah. I want to mount them. them. Absolutely. Hey, Mari, you know what would be really helpful for you? You should Something spend a couple of, have. You should spend a couple of soul coins whenever you get a chance. Uh, that's what we talked about two weeks ago, but we're not anywhere near <laughs> for me to buy anything. Well, for the record, it wasn't that you guys were... It's just like, if you look out the window, you don't see Mahadi's Emporium. You, you, you guys have to go look for Mahadi's Emporium. Yeah, we just need to find it, that's all. Oh shoot, I didn't add the extra coin. Okay, so I have the extra fruit. You guys got a bunch of fruit now. And let me add the one. You guys have 28 soul coins. The ship is looking half as what it used to be. So it's kind of a little bit slower. But you guys almost died. Unicorn is alive barely he's like i will go back to the stables i have done my task i would like Long to go rest. back to the material plane see you later friend. yes we did get the uh long rest yeah you got the long rest so he's like he'll, he's gonna stay with you guys until you guys go back to the material plane then after that he's like i've i've done my work all right let's see but, we level up for killing a god. What were you guys trying to do next? I'm trying to think about that. We gotta go deal with the chains. And we yeah, gotta get the, the uh... Do we want to go look for the sword, uh, the shop for the swords? Uh, uh, short sure. swords would be a bad idea for her. She's already doing 1d8 on her fists right now, so short swords will lower that down to 1d6. My recommendation would be to get some sort of a fist weapon. But I don't see any of that in... Ooh, arm... Uh, no, never mind, that's not it. Anybody know of fist weapons in the game? I know that they're in here, I just don't know of any or magical versions of them. This is real? Oh, it says Ember Fist? <clears throat> Even I'm not finding any fist weapons. But still, um, order of operations. Are we going to Mahadi's Emporium first, or where are we headed to? Or to El Terrell? I personally think we should go for the chains. Mari, do you think you need the swords? It's not a matter of... Well... Yeah. Get on, Mari. Okay. I vote chains. That's what they're calling chains. Okay. Uh, let me see. So, you guys are in the ship. Ship isn't looking too good. But it still drives straight enough. I'm going to. Who is driving the vehicle? I will drive the vehicle. Whenever we get to. I would like to complete the contract with Fabius. Okay. It's like, well, I fought for you guys. I did well. I no one died under my watch. 
I think we I've done I think I think Lulu died under your watch. You brought her back, so it's all good. I, it was only for myself mostly. As long I didn't die, I did the best of my ability. You you are free to go. Just remember the rest of our deal that you will continue to follow and hypnosis path. <laughs> yeah, hypnosis definitely. Uh, make sure I follow hypnosis path. And remember, if I find out you did anything bad, I'll kill you. Don't forget to give him a hypnose Bible. He does kind of look at the dead body behind the ship. The guy, I would never forget that. As you see him, like, start slowly flying off away. I'm gonna regret that, aren't I? Absolutely. <laughs> to his nose, didn't he? He's like bound by the rules of the swear. You can break an oath. It's a terrible thing to do, but you can technically do it. Yeah. And I'll be sure to erase him when it happens. Haven't you heard of the Lord of the Rings Oathbreakers? No, what's that? <laughs> uh, what's, what's a... <laughs> you can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> What's right. what's a hobbit? I don't I don't I've never heard of it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we'll see. With that though, you guys start heading towards El Torel with the giant ship you guys are driving. Okay, I'll put this here. As you guys are flying over, that in church school. <laughs> gosh. As you guys are flying over though, you guys do see that the combat as the city is visibly much closer to the lake below as. You guys with your vantage viewpoint can see everything from right there. Let me just take this off. We'll stay on this map to make it simpler. I'll put you guys here. You guys can move to where you want to be in the ship. Where do we have Tiamat's head stored? Um, they'll be in the middle of the ship. I don't even wherever you want to put it. Mounted on a pike outside. <laughs> what this um with What color are the heads? Um all five five heads, different colors. What the heads are they? Um there's a black head, blue head, green head, red head, white head. I'll go pull a tooth out of the green head. Okay. Give me an, an athletics check. I want to take the skin for armor. All right, with, Mario, with that, you're able to crack out one of the teeth. I'm going to make a necklace out of it. <laughs> Is it magical at all? It's definitely a magical tooth. Alphax, why are you doing an insight check? Oh, that was earlier. Don't worry about it. Okay. Can I take a red tooth? You can do an athletic... How are you trying to get the tooth out? Uh, I guess pull on it, and if I can't get it out, I'm going to ask someone with 25 giant strength to do it. <laughs> you can give me an athletics check. You try pulling it, like, you're not able to get a decent-sized tooth out. It's, it's too much in there. All right, would someone please pull a tooth out for me? Not very well. <laughs> I was too busy laughing at you that I couldn't even pull it out. Oh, wow. That is hilarious. <laughs> you guys are all just like yanking at it. You've got a fucking plus nine, are you kidding me? I just want y'all to know I'm walking around with my teeth laughing at y'all. <laughs> That's okay. I just wanted a claw, so I'm good. Get the red teeth out. Valor just comes over with one hand, cracks it, and just hands it off to um, Mari. No, no, I didn't hand it off to nobody. Well, help <laughs> That's out. how you do it, guys. So Valor comes off and just breaks off a nice sized tooth, and just he says that. Valor, would you please break a tooth off for me, a red one? Uh huh. Sorry, I tried, but I already used all my strength. Malamarsh is easy, like with the, with the left hand does it. Uh, here, you you can have. 
All right, everyone give me a perception check. Thanks, Noah. Oh, shit, that was supposed to be with athletics? Yeah. Oh, it's a straight strength roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did I at least manage to pull it off the second time? Let me see. Uh, where are you? Yeah. The first time you kind of didn't have the best grip, but the second time you you crack off a tooth as well. Okay. Our perception has been very well. Okay, look. You see like a small bead lying towards the ship, and it, that's slightly getting larger really quickly. Is it something that's flying towards the ship? Son of a bitch, not another one. Uh, what, looking at it, it looks like it? a person with black wings and a big hammer kind of flying at the ship. Wasn't somebody uh, looking for a hammer? Yeah, I think <laughs> they were. We found your hammer! Valor, your hammer! <laughs> okay. You guys yell that out loud? Okay. But as you get closer, you guys can see that is actually this lady. The devil? Oh. Not the demon lord. She says, What are you doing with my ship? Uh -oh. <laughs> I wasn't here for the ship part. I don't know who stole it. We're keeping <laughs> it safe for you. <laughs> she said that. I don't even I know who you ship. are. Who stole the ship? I woke up on it. Also, um, <laughs> Halifax, you feel the swords like like react to being close to a previous wielder of it. And Lulu tells Malamarsh, That's. Serial. I don't know who that is. What? That isn't Serial. He's like, well, this is after she turned. Oh. <laughs> and Serial says, why are you driving my ship? What are you doing here? Hey, Zazu. I took the ship. Of you, then I will make you pay for stealing my vehicle. Now, uh, before you do that, my elephant wants to say coin. something. I pull out one silver coin, flip it at Zezu, <laughs> and say, Here's a quarter. Call someone who cares. <laughs> I, uh, I try to hold up a head and say, Look, we've got tribute for you. She looks like she's casting a spell. I look like wait, I wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Just look. We can, we can talk this out. As the look goes boop, invisible. You see the white outlines around his body, where he used to be. Uh, real quick, give me a persuasion check. All of us. Oh no, how? No. Can we okay. help um, her? Just for the initial. Valor, give me a um. Constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, that's not enough. Okay. Um, what? Yeah. 24 ain't enough? Oh, wow. Sorry. It's a fucking oh, arch devil, oh, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Why chance. did we steal the ship? Uh, Valor takes yeah. 61 Why points of necrotic damage. And she flies closer. And then she'll see Halifax. And she's like, that is my sword. Are you here to slay me with it? No. No, Zeria, look, we killed the we killed Tiamat for you. The fuck we We killed Tiamat for us. Fuck you, Titiana. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we really killed Tiamat for us, but you should be happy that Tiamat is dead. She's like, it is good that one of my rivals is no longer in the picture. I'm getting real close to punching the big titty chick. <laughs> hey. It's like, but the rest of you, what, what are you doing? Look, Lulu, Lulu thinks that you can come back. Do you, is that something that you want? Do you want to come back from what you become? She looks at Lulu. She looks at the sword. She 
kind of looks behind her at the large fight happening underneath El Terrell, and you see her hesitate for a moment. Um, Lulu replies up, it's like, we're not here to, to hurt you. We just want you to come back. And I've made some friends. That guy over there, which I, that guy over there looked after his sister, just like you looked after me. And the sister, she's kind of mean and hits people, but she's also really nice. And she, she follows hip does. It's, it's really interesting, God. I don't know how it works all the time, but it's interesting. Big titty lady shows her tits all the time. I mean, like, all the time. <laughs> the guy who's invisible, or he thinks he's invisible, he also hides all the time. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> I'm going to hold up Titiana with one hand and open up her dress with the other and say, See, the titties. <laughs> Put like, me down! Put me down! Don't act like you don't enjoy it! It's like the buff guy. I didn't say well, I don't enjoy it, just put me down. It's like the big guy in the back, he's kind of scary, but he became friends with a unicorn, and those are rare. I didn't even think I'd ever see one. And the other lady with the gauntlets and the bracers, she's kind of fashionable. She tried to flirt with that minotaur and called him an ox, so that was awkward. But these I are good people, I ox. think. These are good people, I kind of think. When, when I was just down there telling my wife about your uh, animal handling, even she thought that we were good friends. <laughs> it, it can't be strange with all the stuff you've done in this game. Hey, I don't think anybody's going to trump Ben, so it's fine. He already does that to his wife, so that's not unusual for her. <laughs> Zero just looks at you guys and is obviously confused, but she looks at Lulu and she looks at Halifax. And she'll say, you are an odd group. But I think there's a chance for redemption. Will you give me back my sword? And she puts her hand out towards Halifax. Uh, yes. Can I roll on the inside of Halifax? Yeah, you can roll inside. Yes. For what though? I want to see if she's like really, really not sure about doing this. She's only doing it because some things might be telling her to do it. Halifax is making a choice by her own rights. But Halifax, do you yeah, hand her the sword? sword. Yes. Alright, and you guys will see this image. I'll put this image in Discord as she holds the sword with Lulu next to her. Yeah, that's in the right chat. And so, one thing though, I will need, um, wh you guys can pick one person to give me a persuasion check. Not it. I have plus six. Fuck, I've got plus nine. I've got zero, so it's gonna be me. I've got plus nine as well. Yeah, so me or you. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna say if it's bad, can I please have somebody's luck roll? <laughs> <laughs> I do have my inspiration if it's bad. Okay. Can, can, can I give her my luck roll? No, you can't give someone a luck roll. You can give someone inspiration. Um, really? For luck, you can? I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, okay I'll put the luck. Then that could be wrong. I thought luck was just personal. Alright, okay. But, um, uh, oh, Holy fuck! Oh yes! <laughs> Holy fuck! Nice. Do I need it? Do I need? No, you don't need anything else like that. So Can I use my inspiration to force her to reroll? No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I will fucking murder you! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! All right. Um. So as you give her the sword, she she grabs it and it's burning into her hand. But she swears, like I swear, to turn back from my evil deeds I've done before, to use this sword for the angelic holy rite as it was first bestowed upon me. And as she puts it into the air, you see a blinding white light shine from the sword, 
Halifax, you feel your angelic form disappearing. And you guys see her again reborn as this. With her sword in her hands. As and back to her angelic window? form. Hmm? She she became a stained a... glass window. <laughs> <laughs> she will say thank you so much for this. And Lou's like, I'm back. You're back. We're all back together. And she says, thank you, Lulu. I'm glad that you are my ally through thick and thin. And yeah. she'll look at you all and says, and thank you for returning my sword and looking out for Lulu. I will always remember this. We did get her killed a couple of times, but it's all good. <laughs> Lulu's like, shh. You see Lulu like, put the trunk in her mouth. <laughs> see Zara kind of like her face grimace and like anger. was like, wait, no, no. Better life. Better life. <laughs> uh, but she will say that you, I will bestow upon you this hammer as it will do me no good moving forward. And she will give you guys the hammer that she was that she was holding on to. So who gets the hammer? Oh, who gave up the sword? Uh-oh. <laughs> what was him? Oh, no. <laughs> My sword is mine. All right, here. This is the hammer. I thought you wanted the hammer. He wants a hammer. A specific hammer, not... Yeah, not hammer. that hammer. Okay, fuck the other sword. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, the yeah. grease coming out. Uh, yeah, you guys, it's, the hammer is Matalotak. Yep. And I'll put an image of what it looks like. And that's the one he wanted. Call him that one. Any, anybody want this useless sword of dragon kind? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Sounds cool. It's a yeah. rapier, right? Yeah, it is. It'd be great for a rogue. You'll love this, trust me. There's nothing about this rapier you won't enjoy. Oh my. Uh, <laughs> it can't be any worse than all that ichor I ate, so... Wanna bet? <laughs> no, really. Wanna bet? I I really want to experience what you're telling me. <laughs> can, can I give him the sword? You can give him the sword. <laughs> I'm taking that hammer. All right. Okay. Sword Look, is yours. You take the sword. I take the sword. All right. Let's see how bad this can get. The sword becomes whatever weapon you want it to be. It's a plus three weapon. That's the first part. That's cool. Second part. I need you. What to... you had me? You had me with only plus two on it. Yeah, but then you got it better, and this because it's gonna go one way or the other. This is gonna make it funny. Yeah, fine. Yeah, it's I not need... like he's gonna get to use it. Uh, give me a charisma saving throw, look. <laughs> and he had plus three. Oh, can I get? Oh, wait, no guidance won't help. Bless. I want to cast bless before he does that. It still won't help, but I think it'll be hilarious. <laughs> you can roll a d4, look. The d4. What's the d4 for? Really I, I, it I makes your save a little bit better. You can okay. use luck. This will be the time to use luck. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say, can I use luck? <laughs> can I use luck my another roll, time? Ro yeah. Roll that. You can. You got three of them. I got. Well, I got one more. So I'm, I'm gonna use it right now. I'll let you use it right now. <laughs> like fighting this as best as he can and then he's just like well fuck <laughs> i tried really hard um i shall do it this way um everyone roll um because I'm, I'm gonna do this for later anyways everyone roll a quick initiative i guess i'll take that wait i'll did you take the scimitar of warning or can i take that back no, no, I all right i'll take it back Do I get to become um, a dragon? No, that not that cool. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Do I get to become like a werewolf? Because that'd be cool. Just because I gave up. <laughs> in... I'll say this. You feel like a calling. The orb has just 100% dominated you at this point. And it, you look around with their eyes that have changed colors. And you look at the dead body of Tiamat, you know, just sitting over there. And you feel just an immense amount of anger and rage and hatred bubbling inside of you. And you want to kill everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want to do. Um, so, uh, Valor, you see Loke look, have that crazy eye look. You, you know it all too well because it almost happened to you. This isn't the first time Loke tried to kill us. Think. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> he was possessed by the ghost thing. Uh, I'm just I very weak willed. <laughs> Yo, we noticed. I see the ichor, I take the ichor. I see the sword, I take the sword. <laughs> Alright, uh, Valor, you are first. Uh. What? Where is where is against Loke? I'm invisible, by the way. Yeah, Loke's also invisible. <laughs> oh God! What? Damn it! And I don't have true sight anymore, guys. You're on your own for this. Hold on, just a second. Did we actually see Loke go through all this since he's invisible? He would have asked for the sword. He took the sword, but yeah, he still has invisibility. <laughs> up. Invisibility lasts for a little bit. Does that mean we're not seeing him go evil and trying to attack us, meaning he gets a first round attack first? That'll be interesting. No, because Zeriel will be able to see him, so no matter what, Zeriel will say, watch out, he's attacking. Okay. Okay, now this is going to be a little bit unorthodox, and I'm very sorry about this, Jerry. Um... But I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna hit Jerry with metal uh, metal attack <laughs> because um, whenever I hit and do damage, it, there's a burst of intense cold in a 30 foot radius sphere, and each creature in that area takes 3d6 damage. You could hit the fucking ship and do damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's only if but it's much it more fun to hit me. <laughs> What's your point, Emily? <laughs> oh wow! All right, all right. I don't know where the hell he is. I'll come to here, which is near where he was the last time I saw him, and I'll strike the ship. Okay. You don't roll a one. You hit the. Sh you don't hit. You don't mess up. Wow. Okay. Boy, I really hope I don't hit roll a one gonna fucking die if you roll a one right now. Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, you hit. Do the damage. Okay, so... Nine damage to the ship, and then 18 damage in the 30-foot radius. Everyone else around takes damage from that. Why did you move, Jerry? You should... Well, no, you still would have been here, wouldn't you? Damn it. Damn. I'm out of that range. <laughs> I'm so fucking close Mario, to not being in range. Mario takes 18 points of damage. You motherfucker. Uh, Loki also takes 18. And mm. Ranthor. Wait, wait, do you say radiant? I take no, half. It's cold. Oh. As he hits it, like a big blast of frost comes out. Look, it is your turn. Are you gonna let me control myself? Yeah, you get to control yourself. I just want you to kill them all. You do a poor enough example of it, I will take over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still invisible, so... Also a new day. Rantor? It's a new day. Uh, let's see, I don't think I want to stand where I am. Okay, oh, you can move. Oh. Ranther can't sense you, so you get to move. You said it's a new day? Yeah, it's a new day. He gets to take a long rest after the fight with Tiamat. Damn what his, can I? What's the? So it's a plus three rapier. Is that what? Uh, it's whatever it weapon you want it to be. Just get it, make it a plus three version. Okay, I 
I should add that to my inventory. Can you move something from my inventory to his? That way he can just take the rape. You can just use the rapier that's already built for me. No, I wouldn't be able to do that. I can't. I'd have to make a custom item to then both of you guys could use if you want, but I can't switch it like that. I got uh. it. So I'm going to move up to Valor since he hit me. I'm going to stick him. Yeah, but, yeah. Can you get a sneak attack? Um, hold on about that now. You have hindsight? No. No, but reroll that. Reroll the damage, or? Yeah, I don't know what he's doing, but I've heard it enough times. <laughs> right, he's no, just no, no, no. guess. <laughs> uh, god damn it, where the hell is that? Um, there we go. I can't be surprised while I'm conscious, and other creatures do not gain advantage on attack rolls against me as a result of being unseen by me. Oh, uh, blind fight? Alert. Alert. Okay, never mind. So it's a straight roll, but the straight roll will still hit, but you don't get sneak attack because of you're not a swashbuckler, so you still do the 10 damage. I'm gonna use We've had a long action. rest? Yes, Five. you've had a long rest. But that was from the attack from Zeriel that hit you first. Oh yeah, so I still take, I still have that. Gotcha. <laughs> You're still going down. <laughs> no, I'm not. Reroll that one. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Aaron, why did I get damaged? Yeah, um, 17. 18 points of 5, 10, 15. Mara, you took damage because of the hammer. You were within 30 feet of but Valor. I'm they're on the lower deck, I'm on the upper deck. No, no, the, the green was just like, if you wanted to go forth or something, I have an idea of how much trudging you're doing at the bottom. The, we're all on the upper deck. You're you on the upper deck. You can the lower deck. Okay. I'll do this. Okay, but they, that will matter. <sighs> okay, so that's Loke's turn. Ranthor, your turn. Uh, Loke is now visible. Because he does not have a greater invisibility. Why don't you take one more step? Those will both hit. No. Nope, those both. Oh, wait. Did they not miss? 24? I have the cloak. Oh, sorry. Yeah, cloak. Yeah, that's true. Those both miss because he has the cloak of. Yeah, I forgot. No one's really done attacks on you in a while, so I forgot about that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jerry, why aren't you on the other side of him where you've got advantage? Thank you. No, yeah. it's not a wall. Okay, I'll remove it. It was it was for me, cause like, there, you're all in the upper deck. I didn't go over there because there was a obvious. My bad. Drop. The green thing was for me mentally to know if you wanted to go straight through something, how much are you eating up? But it doesn't matter now. So twenty four is hit. 24s will hit, so that is 14, 27, 35. 35 damage to look. Okay, well, I'm going to. Uh, what is it? Evasive action, which means half damage, so. No, oh, actually, I want to use Hellish Rebuke. Uh, Why the fuck haven't you been doing that this whole damn game? Because nothing's been hitting him. Yeah, that's true. Dex save for Ranthor. He's been invisible this whole time with a cloak of displacement. Yeah, I'm not aiming for that. Oh, I, I have died almost several, you know, a few times. From range attacks. It's like it save spells is what I've always done. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Ranthor. Dex, yeah, so that 18, I think, beats it. Yeah, 18 beats this. Oh, so does he half. take half? Or? Yeah, he oh. takes half. So Ranthor takes <laughs> six points of fire damage. Eat it. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, right through his attacks, so it's better. Halifax, your turn. That will hit. He's already been hit. That will hit because he's already been hit. So the cloak isn't working right now. 11. 31 points of damage. Only. Hold on, I need to add in the uh, 2D, 2d8 for radiant damage. <coughs> 
40 it, points Gasper, of damage. Don't visible on me. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, let's see. Um, Titania, your turn. All Both right. Yells at you. Cast greater invisibility. What you do? <laughs> yeah. He don't Join think the so. dark side. <laughs> don't think so. Yeah, you see us all glaring at Titania for a second, going, "Do what? it and see what happens." Oh, look at that! <laughs> the crit. I crit. Titania <laughs> straightens her back, does the correct posture, and hits. And with that, she takes down Glove. Hello. Re-in-fucking-carnate right now. Reincarnate. Reincarnate. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him so we can reincarnate his ass. I'm about to coup de gras. <laughs> Alright, look, to be fair, you put a lot of stuff in your body, and this is kind of like the end point, so... For, like, the main story. So, yeah. How about this? Look, you can roll, d roll 3d20s. Hey, we got time while he's healing himself or not yeah, dying. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. So, yeah. Look goes, goes down. down. His time as a tiefling eating everything and it's touching everything. Re and, and motherfucking out. carnate. <laughs> to an end. Look, do you realize now what I've been holding back for most of this game? Uh, a really cool sword. <laughs> oh, I've been using that sword. Yeah, yeah. Do I get to keep the sword? Now that I reincarnate? I mean, we can do the save again. <laughs> <laughs> or you could mm. sell it for something of lesser but nice value. I have a charisma saving throw plus nine. I'm okay, can we please have him roll what the fuck he's gonna be? Yeah. What's that, a D100? Yes. Thirteen. What does that get you? Okay, let's see. A thirteen gets, gets you a a hill dwarf. <laughs> Hello, cousin. <laughs> we may or may not have need to chop off his hand to get that uh <laughs> sword out of his grasp. Can I get that sword? You no. <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking stab you. Okay, look. Uh, temporary icon. So I keep my class. Do I keep my. You keep everything except your race. Okay. So and your racial bonuses. Memories. memories are all the same? Yeah. Yes. You were a poor hill dwarf born to two chieflings. <laughs> <laughs> and you just see me grinning when you come back going yeah I like you better when you were an angel <laughs> I am an angel dumbass <laughs> look 2.0 alright uh, but with that um, you guys are able to um, Zeriel watches this whole ordeal she's like yes Lulu this is a very interesting group I can see how you had so much fun with them <laughs> <laughs> they just killed their own over a sword that was freely given to them. <laughs> um, the serial is a how like Halifax. Thank you for returning me back to what I once was. I know this cost you greatly, but you could have had. There are other ways, <laughs> I'm sure. Like, yes. I'll, I'll put, put a good, a good word, word into you with our heavenly, heavenly army. army. So that way, we, if your time does come, you will have a place among us. You want to speak with your what? <clears throat> will no. <laughs> 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 will you help us uh, bring El Terrell back? I was like, yes. I, in my error, I did a great wrong. Many lives were lost, but I must at least save the rest who are there. Yes, and she will say, follow me, as she leads forward you guys follow in the vehicle and she will go through as she swings her great um, sword using it better than halifax you feel like you could have used she's more accustomed with it as she starts cutting down the chains one by one you guys see the hard snap as the chains fall back into the fighting below killing hundreds each time they crash to the ground as the final one is cut 
you guys see Elturel slowly start rising up at a greater speed than it was going down. As but you see a portal cutting, appear. Wouldn't cutting have to change cause the place to tip and drop everybody off? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> We're being <so> technical. <laughs> this isn't a Marvel movie. <laughs> yeah, that's a Marvel. Um, but with that, though, she is able to open up. You guys do see a portal, um, like a gate, a huge gate, taking the city back, and it would be your way to leave Avernus at this point. I say we stay in Avernus forever. Yeah, no, fuck that. Um, is, I kind of agree. I ask Zariel if she's going to leave as well. Zariel says yes. As you see, she's now riding Lulu in the giant form. She's like, I must go back and atone for what I've done and help the t these townsfolks until they are able to be restored enough to work on their own. So I will help out El Terrell to rebuild what has been lost. I look my sister right in the eye and say, you know, we did good. Our parents would be proud that we were able to take down Tiamat. And I'm very happy with this outcome. Want to make out? <laughs> oh god, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I, I fly the fuck out of there because I don't even want to look at that shit. <laughs> All I ask is, is there a washing machine around for her to get stuck in? Well, are we we are disappearing for a bit. <laughs> Malmarsh is stuck at a moment of loss of what to do. Yeah, no, I'm fleeing the fuck out of that area. I don't want to see any of that shit. <laughs> Um, let's see. But with that, you guys are able to help save El Terrell. Um, you guys find yourselves back at, actually, um, Candlekeep, recovering from the great battles you have gone through, sitting on a treasure trove of soul coins with no idea what to do with them, because they're now souls that are screaming and trapped inside these metal cases. We can release them, can't we? Isn't that one yeah, of the can. things? Let's. I'm going to start releasing them. Okay. I can help with that. As you guys start releasing them, you hear the screaming quietly go down as the souls return to the heavens or to hell. Some go right back down to hell. I mean, they weren't all good people. Um, but at least some were released into a better ending. Let's see. At this point, though, you guys will see that um, a little girl holding a large book is running towards you. And she says, Pe people, people. Uh, the elders of Candlekeep, the Master Sages, they ask for your assistance. Um, we have read a tomb that has all of your names inside of it. I'm not sure why, but <coughs> I think we need your assistance with something. Okay. All right, and she will run off. Um, with that, though, we are going to end um, tonight just a little bit early. You guys have finished the book of... Um, you guys have pretty much finished... Um, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. That's the ending. Um, what we're going to do next week, though, because um, we, we have two more weeks before we go on to the next campaign. Actually, we have more than that. I don't know. Tim, was, uh, the, eight, was the 18th your zero day? I or haven't after? really set a time. It was after this one. Okay, good. So we still have stuff. Um, so we finished oh, yeah. the book. What we're doing after this is something I had planned for I want you guys to do. So you guys have time to plan this out, but what I need you to do is this. You guys are level 12, since this is like us skipping to do something fun for just like high level stuff for your characters. I want you guys all to up your levels to 17. <laughs> so all this, right. this is us having fun. You guys get to go to end levels for like a, like a high level adventure that I like running because it's fun. So let's see. Actually, so that. No, actually 18, because I mean, usually it's meant for higher levels, but you guys have six people. So everyone can go to 18. You have six levels to do whatever the flip you want to do with them. Um, I'm already doing it. I'm the other thing, though, yeah. is this. Um, for items, you guys have some legendary items already, so that's fine. Um, I kn Does anyone want to keep the um, dra orb of the dragon kind? If I try to keep it, I don't think uh, yes. uh, Alice actually Ben, your question, you. yes. Going to hell has changed you, and you've decided to take up new elves. Um, but yes, is, is, was someone wanting to keep the orb of the dragon kind? 
Yeah. What does the Orb of the Dragon kind of do again? Pretty much what it does is it tries to take over your body to make you kill everybody and serve evil dragons. But if you pass the save, you're able to cast spells with it, and I'm making it act as like a plus three weapon. It's also meant to be able to help you like control dragons in a nearby area, but mostly it just tries to take over your body to make you kill people. Yeah, and it's every time you use it, other yeah. than for combat, that oh. it tries to take over your body. Yeah, I used it one time and got real lucky that um, I gave uh, up the uh, inspiration. Up, yeah, yeah, you gave up your inspiration so I could re-roll. What's yeah. the What's the DC on it? Oh, let's see. Oh, wow, I know I've got other things. One second. Higher uh, than nine. Higher than nine. No, might be that. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, Valor will tell you it was about like a DC eighteen to pass it. Charisma? Yeah. 